guys, welcome back. Another Retro Glamour makeup video with Dynair Airbrush System, the personal to go. It's rechargeable. And I'll list all the colors that I use and tools um, in the bottom of the info section just to make it super easy for you guys. And I'll link it so you can go right to their site. Um, you want to give the opulescent colors, if you're familiar with Dynair's product, a good shake because it can settle on the bottom. And if you don't hear that little ball inside shaking, um, it means that the full product isn't mixing, which means you don't get the true two color. So I'm going to go in and do a base coat with the blue. This is the Under the Sea collection. So I'm going to kind of take that Under Sea collection and make it into a modern, well actually no, a retro glamour um, eyeshadow. I kind of love the blue and the greens they used back in the day. So I'm just cleaning my personal to go. I like using Q-tips. That's my own personal way of doing it. I pull back the lever and clean the front. I find otherwise the makeup builds up and it doesn't spray out, especially with the opalescent uh, colors. I find they jam up because they're a little thicker. And that's one reason why I use the personal rechargeable go system because I find that it pushes the color out easier and I don't have to stop and clean my guns and I'm not dealing with jammed guns. So once again, I'm going to do the next blue color. And if you know this collection, there is three blue colors and one brown. I'm just using my stencil to do my ends. And that's going to give me a little more definition. And I know you're all makeup enthusiasts, so you all understand that. But um, this is how I'm using the collection. So I'm going to do a little darker blue on the ends. I did the aqua color in the center of the eye. And I'm just going and making it even. And I love that stencil. I find it so easy. I like to wing out my eyes. I love the retro look. And I also love the drama. It's It works for me. And I'm using my glass jar to spray my excess. And I've just cleaned my gun. And I'm just spraying a little air on the eyes because it feels a little heavy. Sometimes I'm a little heavy on the pedal with the, the lever and just pressing. So I just uh, clean out my gun. And I just spray a little air to dry the eyeshadow so I don't get any creasing or pilling. I'm going to go in with the medium brown that they've given with this collection. One or two drops is all I've used for the eyes. And I'm using my stencil to create kind of an arch going into the crease and just popping in a little bit of brown. And you can see I'm slowly starting to build it. So I've tried this makeup video to look more straightforward into the mirror in front of me so that you can see the eyes. So I'm also looking to the side of me with a mirror and a little bit more air to just dry that down. I just have a natural uh, tendency to just kind of press a little heavier, so I always have to be cautious of that when I'm working on clients or myself. But, you know, easy fix is to clean out your gun and just spray a little air on your eyes. It takes practice, and I'm sure you all know that if you use the equipment or if you're new to Dynair. You just got to be patient and keep practicing with your spraying technique. And as you can see with the Dynair Opulescent, sometimes I even bite the bottoms. I just get so frustrated. I got to hear that ball shaking to make sure the product's mixing well. Otherwise, it doesn't uh, flow out. I just take a little Kleenex, or not a Kleenex, but a Q-tip, and I just kind of clean off if I've gone over little edges. I don't use it to wipe major areas, but just a little touch-up. I use Q-tips a lot to clean my gun, the pointed ones. I'm going to go in and just do a pop of silver into the corners of the eyes to bring in some light. And once again, I went a little bit over, so I'm just using my Q-tip. And I'm going to go back over with my foundation and just kind of brighten everything, so I'm not really worried about it. And I do these airbrush eyes and the airbrush makeup quite quickly, uh, so I don't stress about it. Once you find your flow, you just work with it, and you're building the makeup, and you're practicing your technique. And when I'm looking down, I'm constantly cleaning my gun. That's something I just do. It's a habit I developed because I like a clean gun, make sure the colors aren't mixed in. Now I'm going to take some black and do some definition on the eye, a little eyeliner. And I like to fan out my eyeliner for my retro eye. I like to create a little uh, drama. And I just uh, spray it in. And it, you can see it starts to build the eye up. And you can see the different levels of medium, dark, and light. I'm taking a liquid liner. I like to do a nice uh, corner with my eye with the liquid liner. I could use the airbrush, I could go in and just spray it, but today I've decided to use liquid liner and make a really sharp line. And I blend that into the end of the black of the airbrush. So I don't necessarily draw all the way up or try to do a wide line, I don't have to. I just like that fine line in the corners in the midsection. And as you can see, I've built up the eye. So hang on one sec. We're gonna go in with the um, stencil again. I'm gonna just brighten up the center of the eye. Make sure it's popping a little bit. So I've gone in with my aqua color again, and that was the, the first color I used on the base, and I'm just freshening it up. 
hey, there's no shame in your game. Do what you need to do to create the eyes and the looks you want. And these are techniques and things that I've just done using Dynair. I use it every day on myself. I use it in clients on uh, the photography sessions. And I work towards doing a full face. The only thing I probably didn't do here is just that liner. And I mix it up. Some days uh, it, it's just the way it is, you know. So now I'm going in with my 117 Soft Glow. And I'm going around my eye and I'm brightening up the foundation. I had a 135 uh, soft glow but I like to use the 117 to brighten certain areas of my face and I find that makes me pop more so you can call it a contour whatever you want I mean it's been around forever the idea of using dark and light foundations and I'm just going in and evening everything out it helps to have some straight bangs so I like to do my highlight around my eye around my nose and lips and mouth because that's where I find my skin discolors and so I even it out and I use the 117 and the 135 and blend them together and I've done my lip and added a beauty mark and that's it so I hope you like the final look thank you for joining me be sure to like share and subscribe